Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this time I have a D stash to share with you and it comes from uh, Gail Crafts, the Happy Stamper, and I will link her channel below. Um, I had debated on whether I was going to share this D stash or not. Uh, different people have different opinions about, you know, what they think about whether people should do that, whether they should do hauls or whatever. But the reason that I do it is because this way you can see people are legit that you know when they say they're going to send you a certain thing you get it um also it helps to um share the other person's channel to show the kinds of things they're de-stashing to let people know they're de-stashing so i just think there's a lot of good reasons to do it it's not really about saying oh look what i got don't you wish you had this it's never ever is it ever about that for me um usually i'm excited about something i've gotten and i just want to share it with you all because you all are my friends um anyway i, I think enough said about that but um anyway um she had three different d stashes the night that i got this and it was so hard to decide if I could have got them all, I would have, because two of them, don't listen, Angela, Chronic Crafter. Two of them were Tim Holtz. And I actually first put down that I wanted the second D stash that was Tim Holtz. And I still kind of regret <laughs> that I didn't get that one. But when I saw this one, I just, I don't know, I just kind of fell in love with the stuff that she was showing so I must have been in a shabby frame of mind that night because um it's all very shabby chic so enough said let's take a look it was $50 and I think that was $50 shipped so I'll show y'all what I got whoopsie okay so the first thing I have here is paper, and it is from, oh, let's see, Lost and Found by My Mind's Eye. So this is just a little piece of leftovers, which is fine by me. Okay, it's all very um, sparkly in spots which I love sparkle and it is double-sided very sturdy cardstock kind of uh, pattern paper so there's this one it looks like that on the back Boy, those stripes kind of make your eyes go a little wonky don't they they do me sorry I'm trying to get that back in the box as I'm showing it and I, I love pink and brown together and that is definitely some pink and brown but the brown is sparkly and then this pattern on the back I probably should be trying to get it back in the box because it's not going in there very well and I love music um, on anything and this is the other side And then, of course, there's birds and birds cages. And I've not seen paper like this before. It's almost like a file folder kind of look to it. I don't know if you can see how it's like that at the top where it's like a file folder. And then this is the back side. And this one. It's got your text. And this print on the back. I don't know if I need to back up a little bit or I just feel like I'm so close. And then there's this, whoops, the two of them there. This one. Looks like that. And it's got the script on the back. And then this one's got stripes, but it's also got the scalloped um, glitter trim all the way around. And then this is the pattern on the back and then there's this one I feel like I'm taking a lot of time showing this paper 
and this one, and this one, and then that one. So those are all of the 12 by 12 sheets. And then there was also a smaller pad, which is, I think it's a, it's a six by six. Yeah, six by six. I didn't trust my own, my own judgment. I thought it was, but so these are the pages. I think these would look nice in either a shabby chic or vintage kind of journal. I think those are just repeating now. So, and then, of course, right there is a snapshot of what's in there. And then, oh, let's see. Oh, here. She did send me a card. I have looked at all of this already. She sent me this card. Isn't that cute? It says, thanks. Dear Dorinda, thank you for your purchase. Or thank you for purchasing my scrapbook card making kit. I am sure you will make lots of beautiful projects with it. Happy crafting, Gail Meyer, the Happy Stamper. And she has a website, www. The ham the Good Lord in heaven, help me, Lord. www. The and I will link that below. I think I'm on video number, what is it, number four at this point. I wanted to do some videos last night, but of course my battery was dead to my camera again. You'd think I would be keeping that thing charged, especially with a challenge going right now, but who does the easy thing? Not me. So there's some little frames and some alphas that are sparkly. frame. See, there's just so many cool little pieces in here. And also, um, I'm getting ready to do a sewing type journal as a gift for someone for Christmas. And it had the dress forms in it. And so that was another thing why I wanted this little card. Some more frames. And some cardstock. So... I guess I'm very much drawn to D stashes that have a lot of neat little things in them. It just, I don't know. I like that kind of stuff, I guess. Don't we all, probably. Okay. And then there was this cute little um, chipboard. Um, oh, it's a, like a, what do you call them? Album. A chipboard album cover is what it is. And I thought that was kind of cool, too. And let's see. Then there was this. Another neat little package of doodads that I love. Got these little clothespins. And this little butterfly. Some little flourishes. Pearl. And this little, um, I think it's like a book plate, what you call those. A little mini photo frame. Oops. Here's a little baggie of, I, I love little bags like this of all kinds of little bling and um, jewelry pieces. Just, you know, different different little things that you can decorate with. I love these little buttons. But yeah, I just love stuff like that. Just little goodies. Um, let's see. 
right, and then there's these little trims. The pink pearls. Some white hearts. And then, uh, oh, there's more in there than I thought. There's this kind of trim. And then some little kind of, what are they, like clear? Those are really pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but they're kind of like a light pink that's kind of clear, but it's also iridescent looking. I love those. And then these pink ones. Yeah, these are like these ones. That's the same. So yeah, it's just some really cute pearl trims of various kinds. And I'm tearing the bag up, trying to hurry and shove that in there. I hate that when I do that, because I like these little bags. I don't like to ruin them. Okay. Then there was all of these little shabby trims. Like the little rose trims. Like in a cream and a green and a pink. I think most of us know what these are. I don't think I really need to take the time to take those out. And then there's these ones. I think you can see that in the wrapper. They're all the same style but there's brown, beige, and white. And then there's another one like those in like a pinky rose. And then there's the like a shabby white, creamy white. There's this little piece of like a pale pink. And then here's some lace. Y'all know I'm a sucker for lace. I think that's pretty evident in the videos that I show that I love lace. Never knew that about myself so much until I started doing the fabric wall hangings and stuff. And I've just developed a very um, strong liking <laughs> to laces and trims and just all these pretty pieces that we use for that purpose. I was more of a paper crafter, mixed media kind of gal before I got into all, into all the wall hangings and such. So there's those little rosettes. Um, trims. There's four different colors in there. Uh, here's some flowers. Love these as well. They're like paper. I don't know if they're the mulberry paper or something else, but they're very cool. There's those. It's a little. Bird. Well, this one's all one piece. I don't know if I'll leave that together. I'll probably take that apart, but there's that. And then there's this one that has, um, like this flower. It's like a, whoops, uh-oh, I just dropped it. I'm not going to pick it back up, but it was kind of like a um, soft, velvety kind of thing. There's just a little um, lace, um, like part of a flower. And then there's this one. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. I have to show you guys this. Isn't that gorgeous? That was something else that caught my attention. I don't have anything like that in my stash. And I think there was some earrings in here somewhere, too, that were similar to that. Here's some more of the uh, paper flowers. And there's these. Oops, that's kind of cool one. Those are cool. I hadn't looked at all of these yet. Those are all very cool. Just a few more flowers in there. Excuse me. It never fails. I always get a phone call when I'm recording. I don't know what it is, but I always do. So I just grabbed my phone so I could turn it off when it came on. Oh, there's the earrings I was thinking of. There's pink and blue. Aren't those gorgeous? Oops, let me get my big thumb out of the way. And then there's also blue. And then there's these little pieces. And these trims. Um, there's all kinds of different trims in this bag. I love this. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, you guys, I've been sitting too long. 
That sciatic nerve is letting me know I've been sitting too long. Okay, that is my mother calling. I will call her right back, I promise. <laughs> She's the only one that calls over and over like that if she doesn't get me because she knows she should be able to. <laughs> There's that one. And that one. So many gorgeous ones in here. Now I feel like I have to hurry because I have to hurry up and call my mother back. But I don't want to redo this video. So we're just going to go through it really quick. There's some more of those. And there's this. And this trim. So many pretty trims in here. My goodness. And there's some of that, and this one, and this one. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I just love these. See why I couldn't resist? Even for Tim Holtz, Angela. <laughs> I'm sorry, but even for Tim Holtz, I had to switch over to to this one. It was it was hard. I can't lie. It was hard, but this one won out obviously. And partly, too, because it had the stuff that I can use for um, the gift that I'm getting ready to make. Here's a couple of chipboard dress forms. And then some journaling cards. Or, well, there's a lot you could do with them. They don't have to be for journaling. This one. This one. Some tags. There's four of those. A little bird cage and the bird. Those are chipboard. And I think that is everything. Yeah. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for 50 bucks. I really um, can't complain at all. And I got a lot of beautiful things that I don't have in my stash. And that's the other thing I look for. When I look at, at D stashes, you know, is it just something I like or is it something that I can really use and that is different from what I already have? And so, um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this D stash. Again, I will link her channel below. That is um, Gail Crafts, The Happy Stamper. So thanks for watching, you guys. Sorry about the little distractions and everything. I'm not a professional. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you all have a good night, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.